Hello, I'm Roger Bisby from the Skill Builder channel and I just want to show you a little tip that might help your central heating system run a little bit more efficiently. You may find that you've got one of these on your system or a similar one. It's called a magnetic filter and there are various makes around but basically they're all a variation on the same theme. When your boiler's serviced, ideally the engineer will clean the mag filter but they don't always do it because a lot of boiler service contracts stop at the boiler and as you notice this is outside of the boiler so if it hasn't been done it's an easy job for you as a householder to do check the instructions for your particular filter you can look at them online but they've all got some kind of isolating valve on them and you just turn that round now this one under here is a bit awkward to do so what I'm going to do is I can just turn this because this is the pipe that comes out of the boiler I can simply just turn the boiler pipe off like that before you go any further you want to know that there's no pressure coming through it take a little radiator key if open that top you'll see that there's no pressure on that so we know that the water stopped just to prove a point if I do this a little drip out of there but it's not spraying out right so at this point you can either hold the bucket underneath it with this particular filter they have a couple of spanners which I give you with it which are usually hanging by the filter somewhere but if not you can very often undo these just by hand like that they're not they're just a rubber seal that's inside there we take the whole thing out as one this is the iron filings from the radiators all that is metal and to release that from there all we've got to do is take the magnet out from inside the magnets in a dry pocket inside and now all those metal filings will come off and that's it we've got a magnet in here which is collecting all the little iron filings all the bits from inside the radiators and just putting it onto the filter and that means it's not going up into the boiler. Sometimes I'll take these filters off and there's way more than that. This has been on for a year, so it's not too much, but sometimes it's really caked. The whole thing's really caked. When we put that back in, it's ready to go again to collect more, but that stops it from going up into the boiler because boilers, modern boilers now, have got very narrow waterways to make them more efficient and it means that they clog up a lot more easily. Importantly, if somebody comes to look at your boiler, if it's under warranty, a lot of boilers are under 10 year warranty now, and if somebody comes to look at it because there's a fault and they take this mag filter out and they find that it hasn't been cleaned, they can say, well, that's a blocked heat exchanger and it's not covered. If it's a blocked heat exchanger, it won't be covered under the warranty because they call that system contamination. So that's the reason that a lot of boiler manufacturers are now insisting that some kind of magnetic filter is fitted to the boiler in the system so that it will keep the heat exchanger clean. I would ask, why don't the boiler manufacturers actually incorporate that within the boiler as standard rather than you having to go and pay out 80 quid to have one fitted because a lot of heating engineers are thinking oh that's 80 quid i don't have to spend and uh, they won't bother fitting him but as i say if you don't fit them your warranty is null and void and by the way if you want to put corrosion inhibitor into your system that's a really easy way of doing it just take that bit of water out of there pour the corrosion inhibitor in and put the filter back in. It's a nice rubber seal in here so it doesn't have to be over tight. You can use the plastic wrench just to give it a little nip up. That's absolutely fine. And when you turn the water back on, a little bit of air comes out the top here just as it would on a radiator. Depends where this is on the system as to how much air it catches. That's it. I'm Roger Bisbee, I hope you found that useful. Don't flood your house.